Ah, oh, we've been waiting for you. You have our deepest gratitude for rescuing the chief. It was no walk in the park, that's for sure. Luke was so heroic. <laughs> was I really that good? Except for the getting kidnapped part. Shut up. Oracle Knights Commandant Dorian General Van Grants gave me a message for you. Dorian General Grants is currently meeting with Lieutenant General Almondine, commander of the Kitsuer area. He would like you to come to the meeting hall later, at your convenience. As for the ship, repairs are proceeding smoothly. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I'll get back to the repairs now. Where do they hold meetings? There should be a guest room down by the port. Okay, let's go check it out later. Ah, Luke. It's good to see you again. You don't remember me? I visited your mansion in Batacool once when you were young. I'm Almondine. Sorry, don't remember you. Oh well, you were still a small boy at the time. Phone Master, I've informed Count Almondine about the incident with Arietta. Please forgive my servant's mistakes. I hope I can expect Doth to deal with the matter in good faith. Say, could you send a message to my father? A message? If we use a carrier pigeon, I believe we could get a message there before you arrive. But... That's fine. Tell him I'm bringing Phone Master Ion and Colonel Jade Curtis of Malkuth, and... Luke, your lack of prudence is truly astounding. Colonel Curtis? You mean to say this is Jade the Necromancer? That's correct. My deepest apologies for not introducing myself. I carry a letter of peace on behalf of His Majesty, Peony the Ninth, Emperor of Malkuth. Your entourage is smaller than I would expect. We've suffered a great deal of interference. I hope you can forgive us. These guys saved me. Put in a good word for them. All right. I'll send a carrier pigeon to the mainland at once. The ship will be ready to leave by tomorrow, so please, get some rest here in port tonight. Thank you. Master Luke, Dorian General Grants wishes to see you. He asks that you wait on the deck. Master Van? Okay.
Do you remember when the two of us first met, Luke? I told you I don't remember any of that. That was before I was kidnapped. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you're completely different. Huh? Uh, I'm just glad you're you. Arietta the Wild is being held here on the charge of treason against the Phone Master. We ask that you avoid any unnecessary contact. What would you do if you weren't really you? Huh? What are you talking about? Uh, never mind. It was a stupid question. Forget I said anything. Question. What? What do you think of Tyr? I'd say she's my type. Oh, I see. I hope I fill out like Tyr. Then maybe I'll be good enough for you. Right now, I'm still a kid, but I love you, Luke. Ah, don't say weird stuff like that. You're so cute, Luke. I hope what's happened won't incur King Ingerbert's disfavor and cause negotiations to fall through. Don't worry, I'll explain everything to my uncle. I'll ask father and mother to help, too. That's right. Your mother is His Majesty's younger sister. Yep, so relax. So you weren't actually a true Seventh Phonist after all. I remember you talking about Seventh Phonists before. What does that mean anyway? Didn't your tutors teach you? How should I know? I don't remember. But you lost your memory seven years ago, right? Haven't you studied since then? I had a lot of other things I had to learn. Like my parents' faces. All matter contains phonons, basic particles of sound. Phonons are divided into six elements. What, you decided to explain after all? Combining phonons with memory particles from the planet's core yields an enormous amount of energy. A device was made to supply fuel to the world by passing those particles through the phone belt. That's what's known as the planet storm. Sounds complicated. So... The planet storm caused a mutation in the six phonon elements and the memory particles. And that was the birth of the seventh phonon. Those who use it to perform phonic arts are called seventh phonists. I don't know what to make out of that story, but I'm no phonist. But you caused a hyper-resonance with me. You're capable of using the seventh phonon. That's something you're born with. Now that you mention it, Jade can't use the seventh phonon. Right, there are very few Seventh Phonists. Scores, those who read the score, and healers are both Seventh Phonists. So basically it means special phonists who use a special phonon. I'm sorry. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? I don't think I've been taking your memory loss very seriously. I've been unkind to you this whole time. I'm ashamed of myself. It, it's okay. It's not really a... I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 